came by to look at Fisher Flying Products. This has been a storied brand in the light aircraft space for many, many years. I'm Dan Johnson talking with Dave Hertner, who's going to fill me in on all things Fisher. Then we're going to talk about this pretty little 202 here. And then I am just in admiration of this engine package. You're going to touch on that too for me. Yeah, so thanks, tell me a little bit about uh, Fisher generally first, Dave. Generally, Fisher, um, I took over the company about uh, three and a half years ago, and we went through a transition phase. And uh, I'm happy to say that uh, our customers have come back to us. Uh, we've got uh, eight kits on the board right now, and, and we've had a tremendous show, tremendous show. There's a lot Excellent. of people who are interested in the kits. We've, uh, you know, uh, this show is, is, is going to be a real turning point for us. Beautiful. I'm glad to hear that. Now, Fisher, in my experience, meant a lot of different airplanes. Does it still? It still does. We have still have the 14 different aircraft that we've always had, um, five biplanes, a number of uh, 202 compliant aircraft and uh, a number of sport uh, low wing and high wing. So yes, we're very, uh, very much uh, still offering this, this storied brand uh, to our customer base. And uh, one of the interesting things I found out long ago when I visited the folks up in North Dakota when they had it back when, um, was the full-sized plan concept. There are people that go, ah, man, I don't know if I could build a wood airplane. Look at all those parts, but ultimately, it's not that bad, is it? So tell me a little that, bit. Ultimately, that leads to the simplicity of the build. Um, we still provide full-size plans. You still build the whole aircraft on two sheets of four by eight plywood uh, in, made into a table. Um, you, you build the ribs flat all right on, right the, on plan, the plan, right? Uh, you want to go faster, you build two rib jigs, you know. Uh, <laughs> you build the fuselage sides on flat on the table and then you turn them up and then with the formers as you go aft with the aircraft, you, it creates the shape. It's a very simple, very easy way to build an airplane. How many of these things are out there, all things Fisher, to the best of your knowledge? Well, when I took over the company, there were 3,000 to 3,500 names in our customer list uh, over 34 years. Now, a lot of those people have fallen away and whatnot, and airplanes have changed hands, but uh, I, I'm, I'm constantly running into hundreds of people here at the show who have either owned one or flown one or have been friends with somebody who's had one. So they're fairly, uh, fairly ubiquitous across the United States and throughout the world, to be quite honest. Yeah, I, I, know, I know they've gone around the world. I've seen them in other countries, so I know that's a factual statement. But that's a lot of airplanes. Even if, even if a bunch of those went away, you're still talking some number of thousands of airplanes oh, absolutely, flying. Absolutely, absolutely. We have a lot of aircraft out in the field. And I know we, we, we stay away from pricing. You've got too many prices anyway. But the <laughs> point being that this is an inexpensive aircraft to get in and we build use, and then operate. We use two rules of thumb. Uh, for our smaller aircraft, we say that we can, we can have you flying in a brand new airplane with a brand new motor for less than the price of a Harley. And we can have you <laughs> Well, that could be fairly breathtaking these days, so. Uh, less than a used Harley, maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, and we, we can have you flying a brand new aircraft with a brand new engine for two seats uh, for, you know, forty fifty thousand dollars yeah. And that's, we've really worked Almost hard. Almost unheard of anymore, yeah. Well, we've worked hard to, to anchor the low-end price point of the market. And, and that's doing us proud these days because there aren't that many of us that are in that market. Well, you know, I'm happy for those people that can afford very expensive airplanes. It's cool that they can, and I like watching them fly, but sure. most people have a budget that's a lot more modest than that, and you've got a whole airplane company built on modest pricing. Well, we, we've got to offer it to everybody. Aviation should be available to everyone. Amen. I'm, pl I'm happy to hear you say that, Dave. So let's look at this particular, this is a 202, right? This is an FP202 Quali, yes. Okay. Single seat. Very simple construction. You can just look at it and kind of see that. And uh, I want to touch on the engine, but first let's talk about the, uh, this fits Koala. in, what, it, what class does this fit in? The Koala fits into the part 103 class. So this we've this worked, airplane here can fit it that. It does. It, the empty weight um, has to be below 254 pounds and it can't, it has performance parameters. It can't fly faster than 63 miles per hour and, and whatnot. But it, there, we fit squarely into that. Now we may, we make micro light airplanes that fly within the ultralight category. And so um, I think a lot of people look at our airplanes and they're, they're surprised that we, we are ultralights. And because you have an enclosed cockpit, because you right. have the experience of an aircraft that looks like an aircraft, and um, that looks like a, a, a much larger aircraft, I should say. Uh, don't want to uh, downplay any of the ultralight guys. Well, they make you know, if you stuff. love open cockpit, which I happen to be a lover of, sure. uh, that's great. You got some choices there, but an awful lot of people, and me included again, 
Eh, you know, not always do I want open cockpit. No, and we're depends from on Canada, the weather so or other things. A lot things, of people right. want to be able to fly in the winter time, and this airplane is just as comfortable on skis as it is on wheels. Is that and, right? Okay. And uh, to be able to have uh, an enclosed cockpit and fly all year round, um, they're very happy to do that. Well, now I got to move to this because this has been kind of <laughs> chomping at the bit. When I first walked up, we know this engine, but I looked at the motor mount and I went, you know what? That is a neat execution of some extruded aluminum, which I'm assuming is what it is. But anyway, tell me more about this engine, and this is part of keeping it in part 103, That's correct? That's right. Uh, we've, so tell we've me more. We strive to have um, engine options for people because as an airframe manufacturer, we really need to have, um, to be able to recommend the whole package. Um, we've been a hearth dealer for a, a number of years, and you know the the, the 350cc uh, hearth uh, liquid or uh, air cooled engine is really the engine that that works with this aircraft. Um, but Pelini's come a long way with powered parachute. You know they cut their teeth in in uh, motorcycle racing over in Italy, and and uh, the powered parachute guys seem to like this engine uh, up through the two you know 150. 200 cc range but they came up with something in the 250 that's what it, this is this 250 is a, this is a, a thor 250 ds which okay. is dual spark ah okay and so this engine um is a counterbalanced engine uh 250 cc 7500 rpm uh at takeoff which is 2600 geared to 2650 at the prop uh it's a, it's got a it's got a uh, centrifugal clutch in it um, it's got two. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, right. Okay, that moves. So that's why you got to tie it down there because it, so it doesn't in the head. sit here windmill. All um, it's got two separate uh, types of ignition. One is battery driven. One is uh, driven off the magneto. Oh on really? The okay, that's an interesting and way. Within the cockpit, you you can. There's two buttons that you can push. Two red buttons where you can do a real mag check. On, oh yeah. On the engine, and that's something that's I don't never seen before. I think it's really kind of cool. Uh, they they provide it's it's a left hand turning and liquid engine. cool it too. I see. The wrong huh? way, uh, but so you have to run a left hand prop on it because it's normally situated. Oh, I see. For sure, the of course, right. Um, but they've also provided the adaptation to allow it to get into the cowl better. Ninety degree thermostat housing, and you can put a thermostat in here as well. Okay. It also offers a seventy degree uh, kickback for the carburetor, which tucks everything back in and allows you to cowl this a little better. Um, we just got this aircraft, this engine hung on this aircraft uh, a week before the show. Is that right? We haven't even <laughs> run it yet, and we've got you know uh, the rad sitting down. It's a very complete package, which is also very nice. It comes with all the hosing, the, all the exhaust, comes with the with the radiator, comes with the the bottle, and uh, all of the stuff, the control box that goes into the uh, into the cockpit. Enough wired length to make it there. Um, so it's quite quite good for uh, the purpose that we want it. We, I came up with the idea of um, mounting uh, this thing to the extrusions. Um, Pelini offers a ring mount. It's also pull start and electric start. Oh, it way. goes, okay, so it goes both ways. So and here's the offer, pull starter, folks, so right. you can see it right there. And they offer a ring mount, which is rubber isolated, which goes in conjunction with the counterbalancing in the engine to smooth things out nicely. Uh -huh. And we needed to get it out far enough that we we could fit it into our our standard cowl uh, length. Oh, okay. That's why you're sort of pushing it out here a little right. bit. Right. So we it's moved, such a compact little engine. It yeah. Is, if you had it, it is, back but it here, would look be... funny that tight up against <laughs> it would, the, yeah. the firewall. So we've moved it out three inches and four inches for a seven inches offset. And then these are about an inch and a half here. Um, but everything from the forward face of here comes with the engine package. Ah, okay. As part of their their mounting and package from Polini. Yeah, Polini, wow. and we sell the whole thing as one. I don't I don't piece it out. I, it's all as package for anybody who wants a tractor. Well, for, I would think for most home builders, fine. Don't don't make me go searching for parts. No. Give me what I need here. It's it's super simple. Um, we took the time to. Um, I have to give Lionel my my shop manager credit because he took this design that was in my head communicated over five minutes and then I went on holidays for a week and when I came back it was it there was a work was. of art. You better keep that guy I think yeah. <laughs> yeah I have a I have a great guy in, in Lionel on in in the shop. So um, again liquid cooling you're not step you don't have to step climb uh, it, it's a good package. Yeah meaning you don't have to go up and then level well, off to cool your, it and then go some gets more. Too hot, because yeah. you can just go huh? And it has a thermal couple off the head so you can mo you can monitor the uh, head temperatures. Okay. Um, and what was the horsepower again? This is 37 horsepower. 
Wow. 7,500 that, RPM. That's a lot of power it out is, of that little is. tiny package. It I is. mean, it's, it's 250 cc's, but boy, it, it packs a punch. So that's going to make this thing perform pretty well. This engine's 25% more horsepower than the Hearth. <laughs> At less weight? Yes. Uh, I, I don't, about the same. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, beautiful. So, so this is a part 103 airplane, yep. meaning no license, no registration, no medical. Please, please get some flight training. Yeah, of course, right. Nobody goes and flies without some training, but you don't have to have a license no. from FAA to do this airplane. Uh, will you make it ready to fly, or do you do kit only? Um, for the most part, we do kit only out of out of um, out of uh, Ontario where we're located. So um, I'm trying to keep it that way. But you, but, but the a, a buyer who said, well, I, I just I don't have those skills. I don't feel confident. He can go hire anybody he wants. Sure. Because it's allowed under Part 103 to have it be fully built. So That's correct. he's got to pay for that, of course. But other than that, he can just have what he wants right. that way. And we can co and we can provide a quick build kit that makes it just a major assembly then. Beautiful. All right. Well, a lot of information, but you've got so many uh, aircraft that we can't begin to touch on all of them. There's a lot more beside this to have. If, if somebody wants more capability in some other way, you've got a range of choices for them. Where do we direct them on the web, Dave, so that they can find out this and, and contact you about we're it? We're located at com. Okay, very simple. A name you've known for a long, long time. I have reporting on these aircraft on my website and lots of other affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Dave Hurtner and myself here at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh. Thanks, Dan.